Hi everyone, this is a video about my regimen and what I'm currently using on my hair, what I'm currently doing for my hair. Um, you all know that I'm newly natural. Um, I big chopped October 19th. Today is December 30th, so I'm about two months in now. And I just wanted to um, share that with you because I am in the process of still building a regimen. There are some things that are working really well for me and there are some things that are not working um, for me. And I'll share that with you guys also. So let's get right into it. Um, uh, first of all, I shampoo my hair about twice a month. And when I shampoo, um, I either use Trader Joe's um, Tingle tea tree tingle shampoo and it's okay um i also have something else that I, I have been using um i've been alternating with and i like this product but a uh, kind lady gave me a sample of terrestrials clay wash and i really like that on my hair um, i use it to clarify my hair it doesn't have a lather at all but it really cleanses your hair and um you don't come away from washing your hair, feeling like your hair has been dry and um, just stripped of all the natural moistures. Um, and it's, it's just really nice and your hair feels really clean and it still, feel, still feels really soft. Um, I don't have the container that it came in, but I want to show you guys the consistency of this product. Um, it looks like that. If you guys can see that, it just looks like a some mud or clay because it is clay um, but I like it a lot and it smells really good um, so I wash my hair about twice a month or um, less if needed um, I co-wash probably about every week um, just because that's what my hair needs right now um, but when I wash my hair I normally condition it with Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle I, I do like this product I've been happy with it so far um, for deep conditioning, which I do probably about every three weeks because I just don't feel like I need it more than that. Um, that's just the way my hair has been um, lately. And um, so far what I've used, and I had to put this in a Ziploc bag because I didn't use all of it. There's quite a bit in these packages, but it's organic root stimulator, olive oil um, replenishing pack. And I found this at Walmart for about a dollar and 30 something cent. But I didn't like it. So I'm still um, trying to figure out a good deep conditioner um, that works well for me. And if you guys have one that works for you, um, please comment and share that with me. I would greatly appreciate it. So I'm still trying to find what works for me as far as deep conditioning. Um, for a leave-in conditioner, I have been using, um, I guess once you get oil on the bottle, the labeling tends to peel off for some reason but this is as I am leave-in conditioner and it works pretty well I'm pretty happy with it but I use it depending on how I'm going to follow up um, styling on my hair it depends on if I'm going to do a twist out or just um, just what I'm going to do with it I found that I don't really need to use a leave-in treat a leave-in conditioner on my hair um, if I don't want my hair to shrink a lot because it does, although it adds moisture, it does contribute to the shrinking. So um, if you don't want to experience that, if that's not the, you know, a part of the style that you're trying to achieve with your hair, then um, you may want to think about whether you want to use a leave-in. Now for um, just moisture, what I do, because I, I probably use this maybe um, just four times out of a month to be honest. But what I normally do is just wash, um, condition my hair, and I spray my hair down with 50-50 mixture of um, water and aloe vera juice, which can be found at Walmart. I use fruit of the earth, aloe vera juice, and it works really well. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll wash um, or co-wash and then um, drip dry. I usually just put a towel around my neck. I don't towel dry. I found that that is work, what works best for me. Um, just to keep let my hair drink in all of that moisture after I wash it, after getting out of the shower. And um, I just seal that moisture in with, if I don't use my leave-in, I'll seal it in with an oil. And the oils that I've been using lately 
our jojoba oil and this is by Desert Essence. I got this from a um, health food, my local health food store. They also have it at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Um, or sweet almond oil. This is actually probably my main go-to. Um, but if I'm feeling like my hair is, I don't want it to be really greasy, I'll just use jojoba oil. And whenever I do twist outs, I always um, put this on my hands to, um, to take down the twist um, for, for styling. So I kind of feel like I'm all over the place, but I hope you guys um, get what I'm trying to convey to you guys. Um, so again, it just depends on what I'm going to do with my hair. I don't use a lot of products. Actually, the, what I'm showing you guys is everything that I use, but I don't use them all the time, and I don't use all of these together. <laughs> um, when I'm going to style my hair after um, washing or co-washing and then um, sealing my hair, um, I'll usually use my shea butter mixture and this is just um, African shea butter that I picked up from my local beauty supply. Um, I blended it, I, I, I blended it together with my extra virgin organic coconut oil from Trader Joe's and I also added um, sweet almond oil and my jojoba oil to that and I just mixed it and um, it's sort of a texture of just like whipped butter um, and I really like it so what I'll do is I'll just wash um, seal that moisture in with my jojoba oil or almond oil and then I will um, lock all of it in with my shea butter and then my hair is ready to be styled and lately what I've been doing is um, just doing updos and protective styles um, where I don't have to manipulate my hair daily so that it can grow <laughs> more and it has grown and I'm really happy with the growth that I am experiencing right now. Um, so this is my regimen. I'm trying to see if I've left anything out. Oh yeah. I also have Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning, but I rarely use this. I'm, um, sometimes I'll use it if I am doing a protective style as a styling aid, um, but I just don't like the film that it leaves on my hair, so I just use this every now and then. I've had this container for quite some time. But that's basically all that I'm using on my hair, and um, I'm happy with most of these items, except for the deep conditioner. Um, and I feel like these have really contributed to my, um, my growth and the health of my hair thus far. Um, so hopefully um, this is helpful for you guys. And if you have come across or are using something that is working well for you, please feel free to share that with me. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I will definitely be um, uploading the video on how to combat dryness in the hair. This was a request, and I just wanted to get it out there um, while there was time to do it. Um, again, thanks for watching. You guys, I will see you in the next video, and um, have a great week and a happy new year to all of you. Bye-bye.